Hello fellow tricksters and their victims, Locomander here. We're gonna get a little Lucius going on up in here. Um, now I've played this game before and thoroughly enjoyed it. So, let's get started. Now, for those who aren't uh, really familiar with the game, in Lucius you basically play as the son of the devil, a six-year-old boy named Lucius. Basically the whole point is to kill a bunch of people in various messed up ways, hiding all along that it's you doing it. I think it's pretty fun. Not sure what that says about me. <clears throat> it is important to appear as a good boy to everyone. They must not suspect you. Audio levels seem okay. Loading tends to take a little while. hell. <laughs> Ironic. Alright. I can and I will. Little birthday celebration going on in, up in here. This is little Lucius's sixth birthday party. It's time to blow out the candles. Remember to make a wish, honey. That's my boy. Very good. Happy birthday, son. Did you see that, Dad? Man, they grow up fast. I bet you can remember my sixth birthday like it was yesterday. <clears throat> Mary, could you please clean up? Lucius can help you with the dishes. He can stay up later this evening to play with his new toys, but in bed no later than ten. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> this should be fun. Later that evening. I will say this kid is really creepy. Boom, he's right there. Hiya, Pop. Close the door. It's almost ten o'clock. Get ready for bed. Oh, I will. But there's something else I need to do first. All right. Odd introduction.
Let's put the lock on there. Not cold enough. Oh, we can fix that. Oh man, that is such a creepy face. I wouldn't say he's exactly evil looking. No, 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 he, he's totally evil looking actually. Someone's freaked out. <laughs> yes, cry. Hey, birdie. Ooh, those eyes. Man, does she look frightened. <laughs> If I put the pieces together, this all started years back, with the arrival of a new life. Dante Manor was a place filled with darkness, and there were outward ambitions and hidden histories in that house. I tried to help. I should not have become so involved. But how these things unfold when we are thrust on the scene? I can't account for it all. For my part in these events, I waive responsibility. But it's there. It's a mark. A mark I should have noticed. <laughs> at its source, at the center of it all, was the boy. Beware of crosses, they make you weaker. Fuck the roof, the whole house is on fire. <laughs> Trust me, you know who I am, don't you? I've come to speak to you about your calling, my boy. Each offering you bring me will make you big and mighty. I'm listening. It's a simple thing to do, Lucius. You can influence your future and become a master over all. But oh, so much to do. So much ahead of you. What do we got here? I have some things in the blue the on the table here. There. A man that has this. frozen to death. I should get the padlock back so no one will suspect it was me. And that is cool. I actually never noticed that before. If you shine the light on him, his shadow has horns. This notebook, it will help you on your journey. Excellent. And 
look a flashlight. This will help you find your way around <coughs> at night. Go ahead, pick up your new toys and see how they work. <laughs> Such a bright boy. Now, Lucius, you need to do a little something. It is important that you are not caught. In the kitchen, you left the lock on the freezer door. You will need to get that padlock, Lucius, and hide it where nobody can find it. Okay. Otherwise, they will discover you. Well, that wouldn't be good. And that, believe that me, mean I have you any wouldn't more want that to happen. Go now, get the padlock before the adults wake up. Yes, Daddy. Yes. I will do as you say, Pasha. No, it says that I can use memory erase, but uh, you don't actually get that ability till later. First ability you get is telekinesis, and you get that after this. that for a later mission, so I'm just going to grab it now. And I'm actually going to do that uh, as I go through uh, other missions as grab things that I'm going to need for missions in the future just to make things easier. For instance, I'm going to need this later. And this. Okay. I actually got a little confused the first time I played through this. Because I saw this door thinking it was the freezer and I said this doesn't look right. Took me a while to figure it out. But, uh, yeah, this is actually where, I, where we need to go, is in here. Okay. Can I grab that right away? And do that. Telekinesis. So powerful. Ah! Oh no, a dead body. Detective McGuffin. What do we got here? It looks like a cardiac arrest, sir. The woman collapsed in the walk-in freezer. This was probably caused by the sudden change of temperature. She was in her mid-fifties. 
typical of women her age. Did you talk with the owner of the house? No, sir. They're waiting for you in the kitchen. So you've been here all this time just waiting for MacGuffin? Honestly, that sounds like bad police work to me. Seems like you could have asked a question or two. How can something like this happen, detective? Was it a seizure of some kind? We'll look into it, but it looks like a case of misadventure. <laughs> I'd ask that you stay clear of the kitchen and keep staff away while we clean up. Just relax and focus on getting life back to normal. Thanks, detective. We'll try our best. I don't know about that. All right, smoking kills. That will be the next adventure. In the meantime, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and want to see more. And as always, stay wicked, everyone.